What's going on guys? So we want to make a video uh, because as you can tell, we are engaged. Hey, so we want to make a whole wedding series <laughs> on planning the wedding because we have a whole year to go. So this is the first one of the series and it is questions to ask your photographer for your wedding day. So babes, go ahead and take it away. So like you said, we are wedding photographers so we kind of have an idea of what you should ask. So we put together our top 10 favorite things and things that you really need to ask your photographer. So our first one that we think you should ask is what is their style of photography? Because this ranges a ton. There's people that do really um, editorial styles, there's really photojournalistic, there's super posy. So I mean, there's a bunch of different types of things. So make sure you know what type of style they shoot. Maybe show um, them like something that you love and see if they have something that compares to it. So kind of do your research and kind of figure out what range you fit in. Yeah. And uh, question two kind of goes with that of ask if they're more of a natural lighting shooter or artificial, which means flash. You know, because some people love flash and some people just love natural look. So make sure you ask them which one they prefer and which one they shoot best in so that it can kind of accommodate what you want on your wedding day. So um, number three would be how many photos you're going to get per hour, which means how many photos are you actually going to receive on your wedding day. So some people might say, oh, you get everything. But that could mean everything being 400 pictures or 200 pictures. So make sure you're asking how many photos are you shooting per hour. Usually it's about 100. So if you're getting eight to nine hours of coverage, you're going to get around 800 to 900 pictures. Um, make sure you ask that question because it can be a little weird. You might think that you're getting a whole bunch of pictures when you're in reality not getting that many. Right. Um, so that's going to lead us to our next question that you should ask your photographer. Um, is how many shooters, I mean, do, do they provide two shooters or is it just one shooter? Because we come in a package. You know, our wedding photography, it's the both of us. So I will stay with the guys, she will be with the girls, you know, during the wedding day. And so you get two shooters. Some people prefer two shooters, some people are okay with one. But it's important to ask, and if they don't come with a second shooter and you want one, first off, ask them how much it is to add for a second shooter, and then ask them who it is and see their style to make sure kind of the same as you know, the wedding photographer you're choosing because that's very important. So those are the kind of three and one that you should ask your wedding photographer. So this one I think is like one of the most important and it is if you are going to get a um, print release and what your print minimum is. So the print release basically means if you're gonna get a document that says you're able to print their pictures wherever, meaning you could go to Shutterfly, you could go to Walmart, you could go wherever you want and get your pictures printed. So um, if you don't have that release, which some photographers don't, that means you have to print through them, meaning how much is their print minimum. So they could have a print minimum, meaning you're paying three to five thousand dollars for your wedding package but you have a seven hundred dollar print minimum so that means they're printing through themselves and you have to buy prints through them and say like a 16 by 20 could be somewhere to three hundred dollars or so so that means you don't you're not getting a lot for your buck so make sure you're figuring out how much you're going to be spending with that print minimum all right speaking of prints leads us into a full wedding album ask your photographer if you can see a full wedding album because photographers they are really good at showing you their featured photos, which is photos that they are very proud of and a photo that they think are really good, but then you miss the whole reception, the ceremony, all of that. So make sure to ask for a whole wedding album so you make sure that all the photos you get back, you're gonna be uh, very proud of and you're gonna love it for the rest of your life. So make sure to ask for a full wedding album. Not just the highlight reel. Yes, exactly. <laughs> yeah. So seven would be, what is your turnaround time? So meaning, if like how long does it take for you to get your photos back? If you're doing an engagement session, you want those photos back really quick, two to three weeks, meaning so you have that time to send out your save the dates because you need to send those out like right when you know your date. Um, also, what is the turnaround time, turnaround time for the wedding? Because you want to get those back eight to 10 weeks most likely because um, you don't want to wait forever to get your photos. Make sure you ask So some people might like just be like, oh, you'll get them, you know. You'll get them back here. Make sure it's in writing. Yeah. So if you don't get it back within that time, you can do something about it. So you're guaranteed those photos. Yes. Um, next question. Uh, she loves to do this herself. So ask your wedding photographer if they will help you with your timeline for the day. Uh, photographers are actually a very important part of the wedding day because they actually coordinate everything and make sure everything's on time because the photographer is the one person that stays with the whole wedding party through the whole day. 
So they're gonna know, you know, the wedding timeline, and they need to know the wedding timeline. So go ahead and ask your photographer if they'll help you with that timeline so you both can coordinate with each other and it makes for an easy, smooth process throughout the day and it's less stress on you. Okay, yeah, so nine would be, um, how long are you gonna keep my photos on backup? So how long are you gonna have the photos um, on their hard drive? Some people keep them up to a year, some keep them up for a lifetime. So just making sure, so if um, you, know, you lost your photos, making sure that they have them on backup, that you're able to restore your wedding photos. Um, if you wanna get a print of you and your husband two years later, that you're able to do that. So just make sure um, if, if, they, if you know that, that they don't back them up, then you know you can save them in multiple places. So just make sure you ask that. Okay, the last but not least, probably the most important one is ask what happens if your photographer gets sick. Will she have a replacement? And if they do, ask them to see the photographer's work so that you can make sure that you enjoy the same line of work that she does. Um, and if she doesn't have a replacement, well then ask, ask her what she does, if it's just a refund of the fee, but if she doesn't have a replacement, you might as well get rid of her because that would be a horrible wedding day if that were to happen. So that's about it. That was 10 questions that you should ask your photographer. And if you are looking for photographers, we are wedding photographers. <laughs> and if you are out of Missouri, we will give you a discounted fee because we love to travel. So if you're looking for photographers, make sure to hit us up. We'll leave our business email down below, all the links you will need to check out our work. So you can always inquire of us if you are looking for photographers. So yeah, basically, I think those are the most top 10 like important things that you need to ask. So if you're not gonna use us, <laughs> which you should, because we'll give you a good discount if you're in a cool state. Um, that you just make sure that you ask your photographer those questions to ensure that you have the best wedding day ever because you deserve it. Yes. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, make sure to subscribe to follow us on our wedding planning journey to the wedding day. All right, guys. Bye.